So the next startup is Enid Systems. Enid Systems has a management, uh, energy management software te or technology for industry. We have here Henrik. Um, come on stage. Uh, your claim may be that what Nest Google is for the consumer smart home market, Enid Systems will be for the industry customers. Let's yes. see. Indeed, there are similarities, which you will notice but industry is uh, something different than uh, smart home. I'm uh, Hendrik, I'm CEO of Enid Systems, and uh, we are from the Fraunhofer Institute. We have developed our technology uh, with a funding of 10 million, and uh, last year in September, we have launched our company and our product, and uh, this is called the Enid Agent. The uh, Enid Agent is a tool which we use uh, in different customer situations. This is a customer we currently serve. It's a gravel plant. And what we do here is we are an investigator looking for energy leaks and peaks. And initially, this was a situation where the customer had almost no information. He had no meters, no data, and also just a bill at the end of the month. And uh, we gave him the Enid agent. And by that, he is now able to see every second of every day what energy he is consuming or wasting you know, what, how much, and why. And um, by this, we were able to save him a, a saving of 30,000 euros annually, which in his case represents 10% of his energy consumption. A second typical situation is um, this one. Um, and we have a customer who's from in the, in the milk production. And um, most of the industry players are in this situation. They have meters, but they don't have useful data. And they the reason is that uh, they're from different manufacturers, they don't communicate and don't talk to each other, and uh, we are able to resolve this problem with the agent as well. The third example I'd like to highlight is um, some of the plants do have meters, they do have an entire man management system, but they still have missing puzzle pieces. And in this case, this aluminum manufacturer wanted to know how much each product costs on the energy side. But uh, he had a Siemens system, an ABB system, a system from Janitza, but he couldn't connect it to his internal software, which is managing the products. And uh, this link we could also um, close with the Enid agent. So to recap, what it does is saves energy, it also delivers controlling information, and it increases the security by giving alarms in any anom anomalies which occur. And we are happy that uh, the tool we initially created for ourselves does add a lot of value to all of these customer situations. I'd like to explain what's special or unique about it. And uh, from a customer perspective, in the first step, that is that we can read out completely and in a high resolution the meter he is built on. And we can deliver a quick check after a few weeks already. In the second step, we integrate all the meters which are out there, or which are in his plant, regardless of the manufacturer type, and of course, that's always great if you can tell the plant owner, we use what's there and we don't need to rip it out. And this is the attribute we sometimes compare to the chameleon effect that we can uh, basically adapt to our surroundings. Not only in the beginning, but also after installation. And that's vital because we can change the entire system down to the level of a driver via a remote access. And uh, this is great if you want to add the customer functionality or if the plant grows. If we compare that to our competition, our most direct competitors, we see that all three of these capabilities are unmatched in the current uh, market solutions. The fourth I'd like to highlight is the low price, and that comes from our technology, where we reduce the typical four layers you need, which are the logger, concentrator, server, and the software, in this one piece, that agent. Looking at the market, we see that the um, potential or the benefit is the greatest for medium-sized companies. So we don't speak about the BMWs or the Henkel, uh, but the other 95% of the market. And if you deduct all the companies which have more employees than 500, which are and only take into account the energy-intensive ones, then deduct, you know, who already have a full system, didn't invest lately, you come up with a number of 54,000 plans just in the German-speaking countries. And if they spend on our model, which is a one-time price and service fees yearly, uh, 25,000 euros, you have this market potential of 1.3 billion. So our plan, the next step, is uh, 
to focus on these three um, countries and to open up sales offices because uh, we need a very de decentralized uh, approach. And in the next step, also bring the solution to suitable other European countries. Currently, we work uh, with six engineers and we are hoping uh, to increase the team and therefore we're looking for personal resources and also for expansion financing. Thank you very much. Thank you, Hendrik. Um, you mentioned these 54,000 customers with our, which are in, or plans which are in your focus. Um, how many salespeople do you want to hire? Or how do you address these customers? You mentioned your go-to-market strategy, but how actually do you do it? Yes. Uh, we want to rely on partners, and where we received very positive feedback was from energy consultants. They profit from the better data they can use for their services, and also from uh, electric retailers um, who really like the platform and the topology, um, and they can help us deliver to the customer. But I really need to say that we know you need that very personal contact to these medium-sized plant owners, and therefore we do need our sales key account teams, which we need to build up, and therefore it does take uh, HR capacity. Yeah. And why do you want to select the uh, small and medium companies, not the large enterprises, which may are not moving faster, however, maybe uh, more innovative? Yeah, I think some of the, of the benefits we showed are just of a higher value for a smaller plant. You, know, you can have this full-sized energy management system, which has more technical capabilities than what you get from Siemens, at a lower price. Let's say you're a BMW, it's easier to replace all the meters which exist, so it's a, it's a, I think it's a different thinking, and it currently it's more valued by uh, you know, these medium-sized players. And one last short question. Um, many approaches in the sector uh, eventually require, in order to be successful, a focus on a certain vertical, because uh, the same category of customers has the same problems. Uh, do you have some priority areas that you say, oh, that's the sector we go into first, or do you go uh, yeah. the broad way? It's, for us, the vertical is the same. It doesn't matter what branch, if it's glass, metal, earthwork. The electrical topology in a plant looks exactly the same. So for us, it's more important how can we access the customer. That's the bottleneck. Okay. It's not on the, on the technical side. So, yeah. Okay, good. Thank you, Thanks Henrik. Thanks so very much. Thank you.